All right, and we're going to do a quick rendition of the other way to model uh, a level in Blender. So let's just go ahead and we'll grab this and pretty much just throw that in the center. Then we're going to go over to materials that are all deleted. Um, and then add floor. Nope. Floor. Go in texture mode and add a lamp. Did I hit lamp? No. Uh, let's do a point. Holy cow. Having too many issues today. Alright, as you can see, slowly, there we go. We now have our start of floor texture. Then we'll go to we pretty much what we can do is just hit U, go into edit mode, hit U, um, Q projection, and then use our floor brick, and then we're gonna go bam, UV, yep, UV map. Still not there. <sighs> Hold on, we'll figure this out. Wow, just hit, had to hit tab to update it, I guess. So there we go, there's our floor. And then what we do is we go, yeah. Line select, select these two. Extrude along the z-axis. Um, just say one blender unit. Bam. And then we're going to go to materials. Select walls. And boy, go back to floor. Hit assign. So I go to face select and go to walls, assign, wow, this is really not going my way right today. That's why, because I really need to learn how to, <laughs> alright, walls, there we go, we're going to assign walls to that, alright. There's our floor, there's our walls. And we can go ahead and UV unwrap that for Q projection and scale it. All right, now we have our floor and our walls. So we can just select these three and say, hey, I want this to be a hallway, so I'm just going to extrude it along the y-axis. Bam! I want this to, you know, be bigger, so I can just hit hit uh, extrude, right-click, scale, and then extrude the y-axis. Then you're, oh, I probably should have scaled it differently, but hey, um, now you have I have a room and a step into another room right there and you can go ahead and let's say you wanted a large room here let's go back into this and then we can hit E right click scale along the X axis and then we can hit G no we can hit E right click and then GY and alright so you would now have a nice little hallway that steps down and then goes into a bigger room and all of this is really big so I'm just going to go ahead and scale it way the F down 
All right. And then um, go back in edit mode. Then you're saying, well, that's going to be a kind of a skinny room. Well, let's make it a little bigger. So GY. So this is a massive arena right here. Then you're going to go ahead and you can hit uh, E, right click, S, uh, X, and congratulations, there's your doorway on the other side. Then you can hit, uh, all I have to do is hit E again, and Y, and then you have another hallway. Then if you wanted to um, do a right turn, let me see. All right, so this is the way I've sort of pieced together on how to do it. There's probably an easier way to do it. If you know it, hey, let me know. So, select those again, hit E to extrude, and then Y to extrude along the Y, and then you know that'll be the path of your turn right there. Then select vertices, select, and then select those two, and then hit V, and that'll rip those. And so you now have it separated, and then you're going to select this vertice, and then hit Shift S, and then cursor to selected. And then you're going to make sure your pivot point is 3D cursor, and then rotate along. Uh, uh, sorry, go back to the face mode, select your three faces, then rotate along the z-axis 90, and then that is going to create the exact corner there. And then what you'll need to do is go back into line, and then suck that, suck that, and then hit W and go to symmetrize, symmetrize, something like that. And then, oh, still in line select, you just hit those two, face that off, and then suck these two, hit W, symmetrize, and then face these off, and face those off. Um, in SketchUp, you would use a follow along path and you just draw the line and then, or extrude along path, whatever it is, and bam, it would create it. I'm not sure how to do that in Blender. Again, it'd be great if someone did know and would, would tell me, but. Alright, so that's how you would create, like, your corner in the hallway. And then, um, if you wanted to get really creative, you could always um, just take these and then you could. Um, um, well, there's maybe a few ways you could do it. You could put a cylinder in there and kind of mesh it to a cylinder. Um, or you could go ahead and um, hit extrude, right click, scale, and then uh, then scale uniformly. see, oh, because my pivot point is, let's see, change that back to active element, or let me see, what is it usually on, median point, there we go, extrude, nope, scale, extrude, right click, scale, and you could make sort of a rounded room, although once again I'm s not scaling along one axis, but um, yeah, you could get creative that way. And then of course, um, the nice part about this is, well once you have that in there you might not be able to Q project, but you can hit U to unwrap that all, and then you can do Q projection, and then you can scale it, and you see that's all nicely scaled there, nicely scaled there, that needs to be reassigned, um, and nicely scaled there. So you have all your nice little textures there. Um, you just will need to uh, floor assign. <clears throat> you just need to create a you know, ceiling. Um, this allows a lot more versatile creations um, you're not tied down to that cube um, sort of layout. Um, 
And yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the basics about uh, that way of creating. So let's move on to the third and well, pretty much final way of doing it. And the third way is essentially SketchUp. Um, and I used to be extremely good at this and extremely fast. Um, and I always created things in blocks, but you can also do it in planes as well in SketchUp. Um, so if you wanted like a, a door here, um, you just add a pathway there, and then you would say add a pathway there, and the nice thing is if you want to do this, you will just There's your there's your hallway, and then you can go and go um, up eight feet. Really, eight feet. There, that looks good. Um, then creating walkway would just be, or hallway would just be selecting those four, then doing the follow me tool, and then hitting the front of this building. <coughs> and then, oh, hitting this, and then do reverse faces, and then doing. Selecting these four, hitting the follow me tool, bam, <clears throat> there's your hallway. You would just need to essentially just delete the ends, and then you'll have your just your four planes like that, and that'll be your hallway right there. And you can always uh, hide the top to look down. And um, when you're done, all you'd have to do is just uh, do file export 3d model saves it as a colada a desktop export untitled then we would just open up blender and uh, if you're good at sketchup you're probably a ton faster than i am uh, and a ton faster than you can be in blender but i mean maybe you can be better in blender i don't know i'm i haven't used it that long but import your colada from the desktop uh, untitled import oh and scale but actually I have a better model that I created in SketchUp so let's slot on the desktop import um, this one right here import it and s oops scale it down so like this is just you know a small model of a dungeon so what you would do is you would um, tab into edit mode and then you'll notice here it looks really bad uh, but fortunately that's something that can be fixed so um, essentially what you would do is um, hit alt j twice um, oh first you would do um, remove duplicates or doubles. Oh, there's no doubles in this one. And then what you would do is, but let's go ahead and select them all. I already did that one, but um, once you select them all, um, you can tab into. Uh, maybe I don't need to tab into edit mode. Hold on. If you hit Alt J. And that looks like I do have to tap in that mode. If you hit Alt J, you can kind of detriangulate these. Um, so we'll just focus on this one. Um, you can export these all as one piece, and it'll go a lot better. These are all separate pieces. So if you hit Alt J, then you can go to your max angle and change those to like 180 or something, and that'll reduce a lot more of it. Then after that, it's just you tab out or go into face select, 
and then you would um, why am I oh okay yeah there we go hit the C key basically to and then just hit F to face these all off and then you would have your level like that obviously with these you'll probably want to go ahead and um, just delete the faces so that you have cooling um, cooling will work and you're not busy rendering faces that you don't need to see so you can take this take the faces off that one so it's just showing what uh, what the player needs to see so that's essentially that that's just the basic quick sketch up um, import tutorial so that's about it